back when I used to be on a hospital board, a publicly elected hospital board, I think we call that economic credentialing because they just don't want to admit the surgeon partly because they don't want competition. Can you explain that a little bit? Oh, yeah. So this is something that I had no idea about before I started my own practice, right? When you're in training or you get a job at a hospital, they just paved the way for you to get admitting privileges. When I started, I would go to a surgery centers near where I live and I'd say, hey, uh, I'd like to bring my cash pay surgery practice here. You know, you talk to the CEO of a surgery center. He says, phenomenal. That's great. Just go get admitting rights at this gigantic hospital system that's, you know, down the road. So, <laughs> so two problems. One is I don't want it because I don't want to take all. I don't want to be part of the system. I don't want them benefiting off of me because you know what? They don't benefit the community. You know, they, uh, they're gouging people um, and they're sending people to collections and they're nonprofits. So you have a nonprofit not paying taxes, also sending people to collections and bankrupting them. And you got, how is that right? You know, somewhere on that credentialing board is another orthopedic surgeon, all right, in the area of practicing. And they'll just, no, just because it's anti-competitive. It has nothing to do with your skill level or anything. I talked to a surgery center out in uh, St. St. George's in, in Utah, and they do cash. And they were telling me that they can't get their Mayo trained joint surgeon uh, privileges at the local hospital. Why? Because there's a local orthopedic group that's blocking them. You know, and then you listen to that. Uh, there's this podcast called uh, Dr. Death, which is about this um, neurosurgeon down in Texas who actually ended up going to prison for really just maiming people. He got admitting privileges even after he was maiming people. That's the ecosystem. It's anti-competitive. If you're not a surgeon, you probably have no idea about it.